Hey there, welcome to the first video of building Shopify app with Remix. This is the first chapter and I will go on overview of Shopify developer experience in this video. I assume you know nothing about Shopify, that's why the first chapter is all about basic of Shopify. If you are already familiar with Shopify and build something on Shopify, you can skip to the next chapter we will, where we will build our first app with Remix. So the first chapter is the basics, but it is very important to know the ecosystem before you build something. So I will go um, over and explain some of the important things before you build anything on Shopify. So let's just start. The first thing you have to do is come to the Shopify.com. There is nothing interesting, but you can check um, all the status and how important Shopify is. Before I enter the Shopify world, I was thinking this is just another e-commerce platform like Magento or WooCommerce on WordPress, but it is much bigger than that. The ecosystem is so big and the developer experience is so great that you can be part of this money, okay? There is millions of transactions every day going through Shopify and you could be part of that. So as a developer, there are different ways of making money on Shopify. Um, the two important one is building team or building apps. I will go and talk about each of them in the details, but um, let's start with the team. Although we are not going to build team in this video series, but I will explain the basic of how team works before you build the app. Because if you do not understand how team works, it is a bit difficult to build the app. Um, apps will work directly with teams. It is going to modify the team, it is going to add an extension to the team. So you have to understand the basic structure before you build your app. So this is the team market if you go to the teams.shopify.com. You can check um, there is a lot of teams you can build a team and then publish it in this market and you can sell it there are many uh, free teams provided by shopify like trust and they have the sense but there are some premium team that cost like 320 dollar that's so good like you can just sell one copy of this this is just one license okay for per store you cannot like purchase it and use it in multiple store this is uh, just one license and when a customer purchases it, the journey does not stop there. They will ask you to customize the team for them. You can offer a service of customizing the team and charge that customer. And that is like a great business model for any agency to start on Shopify. So, um, you get the idea of building team, but we will focus on that in the uh, future videos. But for now, let's ch check out the app. App is a bigger marketplace. You can build your app on any programming language. Not any, probably Ruby, Node.js, PHP, and Python if you just build the API. Um, I'll talk about them in the future video, but for now, let's check out some of the app and how they work. Apps are like any web application that you make. You see some SaaS apps that run standalone. It could be a SaaS and it could integrate with the Shopify API and then it add an extension to Shopify. For example, Klaviyo. Klaviyo is an email marketing, but they have an app for Shopify where you can just connect your Klaviyo account to Shopify and use the email marketing and SMS. That is one example. Um, although Shopify provide you an inbox, it is um, another app, but you can build an app which is similar to inbox but you can charge customer. This one is free, but you can build something better and charge customer for that. Uh, let's scroll down and see some of the app. Let's check out this search and dice. I have used this app and this is one of the popular search app. Of course, they are not um, sponsoring the video, but it was in the homepage. So let's check out the, some of the statistics in this app. First of all, the amount of review. 1.5k review that's a lot like not a lot of people will write review but the review is great which means they have a lot of install uh, from my um, like experience i think they might have more than like 10,000 active use, active installed in the store uh, but they started like uh, almost like nine years ago that's a long time but it is newer to date some people i, I have seen it started building up in 2020 and they are making around like 10k or 20k a month now maybe more than that some of them make like 50k a month uh, just with one app so let's check the pricing the good thing about Shopify apps is you can charge customer um, per month like recurring revenue that's the good business model 
I have worked with WordPress in the past where you can build a plugin and then you can sell the plugin script. User purchased it and they get a lifetime update. And lately I have seen some of the plugin who charge, uh, who has subscription service, uh, recurring um, um, revenue for them. Uh, but in the past they used to charge the same thing. Now, let's check the price. Like it is start from $19. It has a free to install some basic features you can get. But I'm sure a lot of story will go with $90 a month. But if you count that they have 10,000 customers on average, they might go with this price see how much money they make that's the great like uh, place to start building your SaaS and in the Shopify market there is there are more than 8,000 uh, active app currently uh, it does not mean that you cannot come in this market and build your app you can just come and build a simple app similar to an other app but you can tweak the price a little bit make the user experience better people will start using that it is not that everyone who already use an app will stop using uh, think of it this way a lot of people will join in the Shopify and uh, if they start using Shopify they will look for a new app so they probably find your app and I have some apps in the Shopify um, market let me show you one of them if I check for checkout uh, search for the checkout this is the app that I have checkout personalization I'm not promoting this I am saying uh, I launched this app a few months ago like on September 22 now it is appearing on the first page of the search when I search for checkout I'm not too late and I get a lot of install for the app the thing is um, you have to build the app with a better user experience a lot of people will recommend it to their friend if they like the app that's why it is very important to consider the user experience so that's it for the app store uh, now you get the idea of how easy it is to get in the market and start building up and earn money You can build your own SaaS and put it on somewhere on the internet No one can find it right right but in the Shopify market It is a bit easier because there is a market and if you check the homepage of their website They have like millions of merchants who are already using Shopify so those millions of people will need an app so they already have the customer all you have to do is build the product and they will use it and i will talk about marketing your app in the future videos that which is more important than building the app a lot of people build the app put it there they don't do the marketing and they don't get anything unless the app is really rare like a lot of people look for it and there is not any competition on that market so how do you start the best place is Shopify.dev. Of course, I will explore more about this, but um, in the past few years, I have about four years of experience in Shopify market. They have improved the develop developer experience a lot. So um, I'm saying like they have the best documentation once you understand how the documentation works. So you can start from the Shopify.dev documentation and right from here you say apps or themes or custom storefront marketplace API directly from here if you click apps it is going to take you to the app section they have an example of how you can build app like you start building your app they have a step by step of building um, um, the basic app with Shopify just in a few steps I'm not going to do that in this video but in the future video so now you see like where do you start what is other important thing before you build anything on Shopify you have to be a um, partner so you have to go to the partner Shopify program and this one is ours this one is Shopify partner so shopify.com au slash partner from here you will join you can create a partner account partner account is free in that partner account you can start creating your team you can start creating your app you can start building a store for your merchant the good thing about partner is all of the things that you build is free like you build app that is free you build uh, any store that is free of course building app is free but publishing on the store is not i'll talk about this in the next video but for now all you have to do is create a partner account free and in the next video i will go an overview of the dashboard and how the partner works and all the features you need to know if you have any question, feel free to comment below this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.